Shapiro's observation is mainly concerned with uh, learning from others in the classroom. So it would be you going in to observe others in a variety of different situations, depending whether it's a tutorial or a workshop or a lecture. And the more you can look at different colleagues and experience different styles of teaching and different practical situations like a workshop or a tutorial, um, then I believe you can get a lot from that. When I first set up peer observation, I thought the person being observed would actually get most out of it. But what we actually found was the person doing the observation, because they're not in that tense situation, actually benefited a great deal because you can see what the students, how the students are reacting. You can see a variety of new and novel ways, and it's in a less stressful situation. And I think there are enormous benefits to be gained by that. So I would suggest that whenever you get an opportunity and someone allows you into their classroom, so to speak, then do make the most of it because there's so much to be gained from it. An enormous amount can be gained from peer observation, um, especially if you can visit people in other disciplines, because we tend to think that what's normal in our discipline is very different in other disciplines, and yet actually we can pick up some really practical, valuable ideas here. Um, so for example, the medics do oscids where you might go into a little cubicle and someone is role-playing the patient. Um, you can do that in uh, humanities, in geography, in the sciences, where you set yourself little scenarios and, and then answer them. But I think we shouldn't perhaps restrict ourselves to thinking about peer observation as looking at just looking at somebody else and teaching. Uh, you can do peer observation in terms of looking at the feedback that we give students. So, for example, a course team might agree to bring along three different forms of feedback that they've given and to pass it around and say, if you were the student, could you learn from this? Uh, how would you feel if you were the student and what would you be inclined to do? And that can help improve our practice in giving feedback to the students. So it opens up a whole new world of being able to be creative in that sort of secure environment. And uh, I would strongly encourage you to do it whenever you can because there's just so many enormous benefits to learn from our colleagues. ways we can prepare for peer observation. We can do it informally. We can, we can see a colleague we admire that the students talk about as doing really innovative things and that can be on a, a simple one-to-one -one basis where we go and ask a colleague and say do you mind if I sit into your, uh, sit in on your workshop or, or, or lecture. Or if we really want to change the culture within a department or a university, we can do it on a more formal basis where the whole department agrees that it's going to be really worthwhile. And here one of the models that can be adopted is where, say, three or four of you decide to form a little group and over the next semester you would visit three of them, the other three members of the group and in turn they would visit you. Now this is not to focus on poor practice, it's actually to focus on sharing excellence because what we would say to one another is, you know, what practice have we seen that we really want to um, use ourselves or to disseminate more broadly? But then we might also ask ourselves, is there one thing that we think we could all do to improve, having seen a selection of different methods of uh, delivery, if you like? And I think it shows that we're confident in saying we want to in continue to improve our professional practice, however experienced we may be. And so the group idea then can lead to you as a department having a, a morning seminar where you disseminate best practice and then say, well, maybe collectively if we worked on one thing uh, to improve our practice, that, that would be a good area to do. So there's both the informal and the more formal mechanisms the latter tends to lead to a bigger culture change within that department and a more open, open atmosphere. So, good luck with it. Okay, I'd like to divide the um, audience into two halves. I'd like those on my right side uh, to think of all the ways that you could make a successful departmental peer observ observation of teaching work.
what would you need to do, who would you need to talk to, would you need any additional resources? And I'd like the group on my left to uh, come up with solutions for how you would ensure it would be a total failure. What would you do to boycott it, uh, to ensure that it wasn't successful? And then I want both of you to feed back and to compare and contrast your results. And then for you personally to say, do you think it's good professional practice to engage in peer observation? Not just as a new member of staff, but to do it continuously throughout your professional career.